Hello again, YouTubers and Gomu fans. 24-7 here again for Gomu 24-7 with our Gomu opening review brought to you by ToyGamingEmporium.com. For today's opening review, we have one of the new collector cases. This is the Star Wars one, which has which is the Gomu Eraser's lightsaber case. And it says it actually includes eight Gomu Erasers. I, well, I don't want to give it away. I'm pretty sure I know what's all in here, but we'll get open up and take a look. And I'm not sure if it holds just the eight or if it can hold more. You can see it extends. According to this picture, it looks like it holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like it holds ten erasers. Looks like it can fold over though. So maybe it only actually holds five. I don't know. We'll have to get open up and take a look. There's also the Star Wars, Assorted Gomu, Pencil Toppers, etc. Collect them all. There it says again, contains eight Gomu erasers and one collector's case. And as always, do not eat Gomu. So, let's get this opened up. Uh, these should be available at Toys R Us stores. I ordered this one online from Toys R Us's website. If I can, well, I guess we'll just rip it open. No big deal. Let's see. Tied down over there. Just bear with me for a moment here. Don't wanna wreck the case itself. Ah, so we got more hiding off to the side here. So it looks like it is double layered and they fit just fine. So that's good. Come on. Try not to hurt myself doing this. I suppose I could use the scissors on this part too, but oh well. No biggie. Alright. And one last part. This one at least is on just because it's double layered. Come on. Alrighty. There we go. Let's see. Oh, that's actually not in all the way. Let's fix that. Okay. Get rid of the packaging because that's just in the way. And let's see if I can show this while actually having it like in view. So it's got a good sized handle. You could probably, well, I wouldn't say use it to fight or anything, but you could, I have a, obviously have an adult hand and my hand fits on there just fine. Maybe that's too big around for small kids' hands. I'm not sure. We can see it can fold down. Um, does not appear to clip though. Which you'd think it would, so once it's down like that. Okay, it does have a little fasten right there, which can go in there to kind of hold it in place, but I don't think it would. Not the best holder. As you can see, as it does that, it's trying to open up other ways, so. Not the safest or most secure closing system, whatever you want to say, but, anyways. You can see you can stand all the way. But it does not stay extended. I feel it downward like that, so that the joint there is going down. It's fine. But if you flip it the over the airway, it'll fold back down. So you can't really hold it in place like that. You'd have to keep it down right. So it's got the pros and the cons, I guess you could say. I've got one more plastic wrap here that's holding that one together. Let's snip that so I can actually open the thing. Um, and it does not appear that there's anything in the handle. You could probably take a screwdriver and open this, but it's probably just hollow inside. Yeah, that's prob sounds hollow. So let's take a look at what gum erasers are actually included in here. And as shown in the picture, it can hold up to 10 gomo looks like, as long as they actually fit in here. And there's another plastic wrap here that I missed. Sorry about that. All right, so the first four here looks like the same four that you can get in the booster pack of four erasers that we've opened on this channel previously, which is the only pack we've seen so far. So we got Darth Vader's head or helmet, however you want to look at it. We got the head of a stormtrooper or some sort of trooper. And again, these are puzzle erasers. You can take them apart, but with uh, Star Wars and our licensed ones, since you can't really interchange the parts with any others, like with the core ones, each eraser comes with three different colors, so you can kind of mix and match them, make your own colorful designs. It makes more sense, but these are pretty self-explanatory and they don't change parts, so they could be one piece and they'd be just the same, really. Um, I can't remember which one this was now. I asked about it in the previous video and I can't remember what everyone said. Sorry about that. This is one of the ships, obviously. Here's the Millennium Falcon. Pretty sure I got that one right, at least. And then we got a bunch of lightsabers. Now, if you know, like, if each lightsaber goes to, to a, like, a specific character in Star Wars, please comment let me know. So, lightsaber number one here, 
It's a green lightsaber. There you can get a close-up view of the handle. So if you know if this belongs to a particular character, please let me know. Can you pull it out? I would think you could. There we go. So you can pull out the light part of the lightsaber then slide it back in there. All right, then going to the second part here. Lightsaber number two is a red lightsaber. Give you a look at the handle there. A little more complex looking handle than the first one. So that's lightsaber number two. So if you do know who these belong to, just comment and like number them like I am so I know which ones are what. And then lightsaber number three is another green one. And here's the handle. Looks similar to the first one, but the handle juts out a little bit more. So they are different. The first one's handle is longer. It's got uh, multiple grooves there where the light begins. And also the like button or activator, whatever that would be on top there, looks a little bit thicker than the third one here. But the length of the lights look to be about the same. So that's number one again. That's number three. And then the fourth and final lightsaber here is another red one. Now, I'm not sure if this is curved because the way it's in the packaging, that's how it's supposed to be. If you know the answer to that as well, please comment, let me know. But this is the fourth one, more complex looking handle. So both red ones really are kind of advanced looking handles. I'm guessing one of these belongs to Darth Vader. But again, please, though all you Star Wars experts, please comment let me know if these belong to certain characters. So if or when I add these to the website or eBay or whatever, I can name them as properly and as accurate as I can. So that concludes then this opening and review of the Star Wars Gomory Racers lightsaber case. If you have not already done so, please hit that subscribe button. You can then get email alerts for our future unboxings and reviews here on Gomu 24-7. Feel free to send us your friend requests. We accept them all. Give us a big thumbs up for another great Gomu opening interview. Check out ToyGameReport.com for your Gomu and other toy and gaming needs. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next video.